Well, I'm going to tell you something. When I broke through that, that banner, it reminded myself of being back in 10th grade, man. It was awesome. It was a great feeling. But I'll tell you something. You know, I'm a big believer in life is about moments. And sometimes in life, you know, there are great moments. There are not so great moments. Today is a great moment. I'm going to take you back for one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take you back just a little bit because I kind of remind myself of being you guys sitting out there in an auditorium when I was uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, and I'll be honest, I was, I was really overweight and I had a really bad stutter growing up. And I'll tell you this, it was really hard for me to get up in front of my class and read out loud. And I had a hard time speaking, and a hard time communicating, and I got real quiet. And I came into a little shell, and thank God for my dad, who bought me a set of weights when I was about your age. And I will never forget this, because this is one of those moments. I started using those weights and it started building my body. But not only did it build my body, it started building my confidence and my self-esteem. And I'll tell you this, and all the grown-ups in the room, Governor, you understand having confidence and self-esteem, and you guys too. When you feel good about yourself, and you have confidence, it's amazing to see what you can accomplish in your lives. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, if you feel good about you, it's amazing what you can accomplish. And I'll tell you this, you know that over 150 schools sent us videos and stories about their school, about why their school deserves a brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center. And I'll tell you what, you gotta get your hands together because I'll tell you what, stop clapping. You gotta stop clapping because you know, the more you clap, the more, you clap, the more calories you burn. And I wanna give a big round of applause for your principal, Andrina Smith. Andrina, stand up for a second, please. Let's hear it. Greg Witherspoon, you saw your superintendent. Let's hear it for everybody. Let me say, let me tell you why I bring up their names. Because we put out a press release, and I'll tell the story of how I met your governor in a minute, but we put out a press release to the whole state, all of South Carolina, and we said, tell us why. Your school deserves a brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center. And you know what? I would bet a lot of schools, just like a lot of people would probably say to themselves, geez, why would I sign up for this? They'll never pick us. We'll never get chosen. Well, you know, in life, once again, we're coming back to this is a moment, and life is about moments. In life, you have to take shots. Just like in sports. If you don't take the shot, you can't score the goal. If you don't take the shot in business, you don't win a deal. And you can go on and on and on. But it starts right now about taking shots with your teachers, your parents, people in this community believe in you. And they told us an incredible story about how they are pushing you all to be leaders. And I'll tell you one thing that's really cool. I'll tell you one thing that's really cool. When you're exercising and you feel good about yourself, you're less likely to smoke a cigarette. When you're exercising, you feel good about yourself, you're less likely to vape. When you're exercising, you feel good about yourself, you're less likely to take a drug. When you're exercising, you feel really good about yourself, you're less likely to join a gang. Because you know what? You're the leader. You're a boss. You can look in that mirror and feel great about who you are because academics and fitness go hand in hand. And that's the great thing about what we're talking about. And I just want to let you know, Obviously, you know the reason why we're here is because your school is now the proud recipient of a brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center. I know a lot of people have heard this man before, but Coach Don Hemingway Payne, Captain Payne, big round of applause for Tough Stuff on the equipment. And the Fitness Center is for Tough Stuff. 
academics and fitness go hand in hand. When you have your health and you have hope, you have everything. When you have your health and you have hope, you have everything. The world lets you be what you make them believe you are. And I'm telling you this, everybody in this room, no matter who you are, and I can tell you this, I'll make a bet right now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, someone in this room, maybe a few people in this room, will be standing right up on this stage, telling a story about what motivated them, what inspired them as a middle schooler, and they'll be standing up here giving back to this community. Because you know what? We live in crazy times, in a crazy world. But sometimes it's the simplest thing to be nice, to smile, shake hands, open the door, travel around the country and meet people and help each other build confidence and self-esteem. Because you know what? We're only as good, schoolyard term, you all have next, right? I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. We played basketball. Who's got next? You guys have next. We've got to leave this place better for you than we have. Now, I wouldn't be here. You guys wouldn't be receiving this brand new $100,000 Don't Quit Fitness Center if this man didn't pick up the phone. And here's how I do it. Each year, we choose four states. You saw the video. I met a lot of governors. We choose four states. South Carolina was one of those states this year. And we did some homework about the governor. We wanted to find out if he's a family guy, community guy, pro-education, pro-teachers, pro all of the things that what we're about. Because this isn't a Democrat or Republican issue, this is your issue, this is a kid's issue. We all have to work together on this. And you know what? It took the governor less than 24 hours to pick up the phone. His daughter, Mary Rogers, where's Mary Rogers? Let's have a big round of applause, everybody. For Mary Rogers, big master. I talked to Mary Rogers first, she called her dad. I love that. I have a daughter. And when your daughter calls, you answer the phone. You know that. And I had a great conversation with the governor. I just want to say this. You're very fortunate to have a guy like this as your governor. He's the real deal. He's the, he's the real deal. But most importantly, most importantly, he cares. So everybody, get up on your feet. Up on your feet. Now stretch out a little bit. Get your hands together. Let's go. Let's get some spirit here. the great state of South Carolina. Thank you, Jake. Team three. Jake Steinfeld. Give me one more, y'all. Y'all have a seat. I'll be real quick. You know, I, I, uh, I grew up not far from here. I wasn't more back three miles from here. I love this place. You're living in, in Columbia. You're living in South Carolina. You're living in the best place in the whole world. So let's be proud of this place. This is the greatest place there is. And I'm telling you, here's the finest school on earth in W.G. Sanders Middle School and the Tigers. Let's hit them. Okay, I'll be real quick. Y'all, uh, this is one. There are not many men around like Jake Steinfeld. I wish there were a lot more. There are a lot of, a lot of them out there that we never hear about. But this is one that's come out. And you heard, him, and this is what he's doing. You didn't know that you would be, by being here today, you would be bringing $100,000 worth of first quality gym equipment to this school. $100,000, that's the work you did today. But Jake is generous, Jake is smart, and Jake started off, as he told you, it didn't, didn't look too promising, but he didn't quit. And he got some good advice from his dad. And he set his goals. And he achieved those goals. This man is known all over the world for what he's doing. And besides helping people build strong bodies, which helps build a strong brain, he's inspiring people all over this country, just like he is with us. But the others who have inspired us, if he can do it, if he started off a chubby little fellow with no confidence and stuttering, if he can go and, and don't quit and end up doing what he's doing, then anybody can. Anybody can. That's the message. So don't quit. There are a lot of 
a lot of great leaders in the world, but one that I admire much, and I actually met him one time years ago, is a man named Muhammad Ali. Y'all remember him, one of the finest athletes ever was in the whole world, and a very fine man. And one time I heard a, a reporter ask him, he said, Mr. Ali, he said, did Joe Frazier knock you down, didn't he? And he said, son, I'm never knocked down. I'm either getting up or I'm up. <laughs> That's the right attitude. You got a brand new gymnasium. Use it, wear it out, work. Build that body, that'll build that brain. And I tell you, the world is for you. It's wide open. You can go right straight to the top. From right here where you are, to where you all ought to be, where you want to be. And Jake, we, can, we love you, we thank you, we hope to see you again. And on behalf of about five million happy South Carolinians, I want to make a declaration today. This is a governor's proclamation. State of South Carolina. I won't read the whole thing, but it says, whereas South Carolina celebrates Don't Quit Fitness Month to bring greater awareness to the importance of physical fitness and wellness, in the fight against childhood obesity. And whereas academics and fitness go hand in hand, therefore I, Henry Master Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim October 2018 as Don't Quit Fitness Month. Thank you. Thank you.